Hello and welcome back to SAP s Asset Management Training. We are still exploring the Fury Launchpad and we have already looked at several app groups such as Technical Objects, Notification and Order. This time we are going to look at the Resource Scheduling group of apps and we'll start with Resource Scheduling for Maintenance Planners. So when you click on that, you get to the standard screen. And from here, we need to assign work centers. Work centers are usually used in maintenance organization to help in the analytics or even in the planning of your labor force, given that you're dealing with different trades. So you could have something like mechanical work center, electrical work center or even calibration work center. So in our case, we are going to select the mechanical work center. And I have a video on how to create these work centers as you do your SAP configuration. So once the work center is selected, you need to click on the assign button. The work center is now assigned. So I need to go back to the standard screen and I can filter by order type, maintenance activity type, priority or work center. So I'm not going to use any of the filters. I'm just gonna click on go. And that brings several cards here. The first one is due maintenance orders by priority. In the middle, we have work center utilization. To the right, we have unconfirmed maintenance orders. If I scroll down, I have several other cards. And I also have visualization, which makes it easier for the planner to see what is happening with their work center. I have an assigned work by priority, do maintenance orders, and all that information that is helpful to a planner to know what is going on. So I'm gonna open up one of the cards and this is gonna be, I'm gonna open up the work center utilization. So to the top left, I have the time period, which is the next four weeks. Bottom left, I have maintenance orders, five of them and maintenance order operations, eight of them. And the relationship there is work order to operations could be one to many. Then to the right, I have a graph of my work center utilization. I have the percentage and I have the current week on the X axis. And I can filter by a work center if I have several work centers, or I can also filter by the the date range and you can also add additional work centers. You can work with more than work centers. The only thing that you change is instead of having one color like we are seeing here or one line, you're gonna have the lines corresponding to the number of work centers that you have selected. So going back to the left hand side, we have maintenance order operations. So for these operations, we have the operation priority, plan start, plan add, processing starters and work order type. So that is how we work with resource scheduling. Thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video.